I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. And what I am talking about is my trip to Hawaii that's coming up. I have an upcoming trip in Hawaii in September for my birthday, and I'm so excited about it. So this video is about manifest your travel dreams, and I'm so excited to share with you how I did it how I manifested my trip to Honolulu, Hawaii, or how I manifested the tickets, you know, booking my tickets, booking my flight, and booking my Airbnb, all of that good stuff is in this video. So let's get into it. We don't want to waste any time. First point is everything I've done prior led to this manifestation. And I love that. I love that I said that because everything did lead up to this manifestation. My desire you know, I've always had a desire to go to Hawaii. As a little girl, as a small, you know, as a teenager, I always used to say, hey, I'm going to go to Hawaii. Hawaii is an amazing place. I want to go to school there. I think I even had like the different packets and resources and information about the University of Hawaii. They sent me some things uh, from their school and I wanted to go there, but my mom wouldn't let me because she said it was too far away. But I've always wanted to go. So I've always had that desire. That's number one. You've got to have the desire in your heart to go because when you have the desire, it's it's somewhat of an, it, it aligns you to do those things or it aligns you with the manifestation that you are trying to manifest. So it has to be in alignment as well. And I will get into that. So the desire is in a sense, the alignment. So if you desire it, it's possible and it will happen. The vision for your manifestation. So I created a vision board. I think I kind of started to kind of just add more to it in February, but it had kind of started in December. And, you know, at that time, people are doing their vision boards anyway. So I decided to do a vision board. But this time I was serious about it. I said, I'm going to do this vision board and everything on it is going to come true. I claim it. I started adding more things to it because one of my, one of, one of, a friend of mine that I met in a community with my mentor, she was telling me, she said, whoever said that your vision board had to be one page because I did my vision board on my Canva. And she said, it can be multiple pages. My vision board is seven pages. And I was like, oh my God, why am I holding back? I want to do that. So I added more and more. And one of the things that was on my vision board was Hawaii. And I find that amazing that my trip is, I pulled into my reality and it's here now and it was on my vision board. It's come true. Not only was it on my vision board, I had put a birthday cake on top of a picture of Hawaii and I was like, I'm going for my birthday and it manifested so amazing. So you have to have the vision. So not only the desire, but you have to have the vision prior to your manifestation. Prior to your manifestation, you have to have a desire to have this manifestation and you have to have a vision of this manifestation. And then you have to have faith. So that's my next thing in this first point. Faith is something you have to have. You have to believe and you have to have faith that these things are going to happen or this thing is going to happen this manifestation. Also, you have to, part of faith is deciding that it is going to happen. So you have to decide and say, okay, I decide this is going to happen now and this is what I want. And that's it. You, you leave it up to the creator and the universe to make it happen. So that is the main point that I want you to know as well. That's a very important step. So also alignment, how I was talking about that earlier. Alignment, I find it so amazing that the creator knew that I was going to need the things that I had been working on prior for this manifestation. So like my credit. I had been building my credit. I have been building my credit for some years now and it's really great. I got a travel card 
a travel point card and I purchased my flight with that. I don't feel like if I had a, had like the credit I had before, like in the beginning, like years ago when I was first starting to build my credit, because I didn't have any credit at first. When I was first starting to build my credit, I don't think I would have gotten this, this card without building my credit. You see what I'm saying? So the creator knew that. So the creator put the desire in my mind to build my credit all those years ago in order for me to get this card up into now. And I feel like all of that is in alignment with everything. Now is the perfect time to go to Hawaii because I have the credit for the card that purchased the tickets. And I'm just so excited about that. Like how amazing is that? The creator knew that I would need good credit. God knew these things in order to, to get the things that I wanted in life. I mean, that's a simple thing to look at it, but that's still amazing to me. Like, how amazing is that, that the, the creator knew all of these things beforehand? The creator knew that that this year, 2024, was a great year for me to go to Hawaii and experience that beauty. So the creator made it so that I could do all these things years ago to help build my credit, you know, uh, get a job, you know, to pay my credit off and all these things. Uh, the creator knew I would need a job to, to go on a trip. You know, the creator knew I would need good credit to, to get these reward cards and all of these things. And so that led up to getting my manifestation. So like I said, it has to be in alignment with everything. You need the desire, you need the vision, you need the faith, and you have to decide and all of that has to be in alignment with everything. See how amazing that is? Perfect, isn't it? Small actions create small manifestations. Big actions create big manifestations. And I want to explain what that is right now. So what that means is I worked my way up to this huge manifestation. The huge manifestation is the trip in itself going to the actual place. So that's the huge manifesting that as my destination for growth, because I feel like traveling is growth and it's an experience to have. So that is the huge manifestation. So, but I worked my way up to it. So what I did was I did a small action and what that small action was, I bought a bathing suit. And I said to myself, if I'm going to Hawaii for my birthday, I need to get a bathing suit. My body looks amazing now. I've lost so much weight. I'm in my dream body. And I have, I've lost about like 40 to 50 some pounds. I've, I was 200 at first. And then I, I lost a lot of that weight. And so I bought the, the bathing suit in order to put that desire, in order to pull that manifestation into my reality. And when I bought the suit, I felt like, I had already got my tickets. I I felt like I had already booked my Airbnb. I was like, I'm going to Hawaii for my birthday. I got the perfect bathing suit. It was such a, it's such a beautiful bathing suit too. And it was brand new. It was like $26. And I was like, I'm getting this. I'm buying this now. I bought it, but I had my, I, I had my eye on that bathing suit for a while, like a couple of days, like, a, like two weeks I had been looking at it. I was like, I want that bathing suit so bad. And I thought to myself, why don't I just go ahead and get it? Cause I'm going on the trip for my birthday this year, you have to, 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 to do small little actions like that in order to put you in the mindset that you have already done it, you know, like Nike, just do it. And so I just bought the bathing suit. How amazing is that? Another thing I did was the Airbnb, I booked my Airbnb. I decided to search for some Airbnbs that I was interested in. Like, I think this was like, I think I bought the bathing suit like around March or April or something like that. And when I actually went to go look for the Airbnb, it was in May. And I was so excited when I was doing this. I don't know why. I just was in this mood and I was looking for an Airbnb and I, I came across a stunning condo. And I was like, oh my God, this condo is so amazing. And then I was like, at first I was kind of getting a little low at first. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to afford this. And I was like, no, I can't afford this. And so lo and behold, I was able to get the Airbnb. I booked it right then and there. It had like a 48 hour uh, reservation cancellation on it. And if you decided that you didn't want to take the trip or whatever, you could cancel it within 48 hours and they will give you like a full refund. 
And so I kind of felt secure in that. And so I went on and booked it because I didn't want anyone to take my spot in case I was really going. And so when I booked it, the host had reached out to me and they were like, okay, we're so excited that you booked our place. Thank you so much. And blah, blah, blah. And they sent me information. And it was just something about their message. It, it had the Aloha spirit in it. And I was just so excited. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I love this Airbnb. I love this condo. Like, what am I waiting for? Let's book it. Me and my daughter are going to stay in it. And, you know, because my daughter is coming along with me on the trip. I'm so excited. I told the, the host that, hey, my daughter is coming along. And I, you know, I had added her on the booking when I had booked for the reservation. So... I didn't cancel anything. I was like, because I'm going. Like, why cancel? I'm going. So I didn't do any of that. I waited 48 hours. I was like, yes. Oh my God, I'm going to Honolulu, Hawaii. I was like, I can't believe this. I need to go get my tickets. That was the second thing I said. And lo and behold, I waited for like three, a couple, a couple of days before I booked the tickets. So I looked around first before I got any tickets because I wanted to make sure I was getting the best best price, best deal. And so I went on Google Flights, which is an awesome website to go on to. Make sure you go on Google Flights if you're looking for a great ticket. And I looked around on Orbitz and Expedia too, and I felt like the best ticket was on Google Flights. And I booked, and I booked through United, and I got my tickets, and I could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, I manifested this. It's come, it's came, it has come true. And, and I'm going to tell you something, all of that, those gradual actions, those small actions led to the big action, which is the big manifestation, which is the actual destination. I, oh my God, I'm just so excited. And that's why those things are important. Get something small that is related to your manifestation. My bathing suit was related to my manifestation because quite naturally, I'm going to be on the beach when I go to Hawaii, me and my daughter are going to Hawaii and we're going to be on the beach. And I ordered a bathing suit for her. I ordered a bathing suit for myself too, as well. Later, I've ordered her bathing suit later. So get something that is related to your manifestation in order for you to pull it into your reality. So that's, that's point uh, two. You need to gradually manifest and gradually see these things unfold. You need a small, small, remember that small actions create small manifestations and that creates big actions, big manifestations. See how beautiful that is? That's Those, those are my words. I'm gonna put that on a t-shirt or something like that. It's so amazing, I love that. Anyway, I booked my flight tickets. And so that was like the last thing. And I also wanna talk about the third point, speak things into existence. And when I say this, I was telling people that I was going to Hawaii before I even booked the ticket, before I booked the Airbnb, before I, I bought the bathing suit even. I was telling people, hey, I'm going to Hawaii for my birthday. I told my friend, I told one of my friends, I told my counselor even, I told my dad. And I hadn't even did anything for it to come into existence. You know, like the, like I said, I didn't book anything at that time. And I was telling people, hey, I'm going to this place for my birthday. And it happened. You know, it happened. And it's here now. And I'm just so excited. So you have to speak things into existence. You can't affirm the 3D. You can't, you can't affirm that. You, you, if, if something is not there, you have to keep saying, because it's in your reality. It's in like a... My mentor says that, what reality are you talking about? Someone asked my mentor one time, are you a millionaire? And she was like, yes. Now in this reality, she may not be a millionaire, but in another reality, she is. So your reality, that reality that you desire is coming. You just got to keep on having faith. You just got to keep that desire near you. You got to make sure that you see it in the vision. You just got to keep making those small actions towards those big actions to get your manifestations. You just got to keep speaking it into existence. You got to keep affirming your reality. It's there for you. That reality is yours and you can pull it to you now in this reality. 
So don't react to the 3D. Also, the feeling. Right now, and I don't know what it is, and I hate to say weird or, because I'm trying to get out of the practice of saying something is weird or strange. I want to say it's an amazing feeling. I feel like I have already been to Hawaii and it's so amazing. I've never stepped foot on it, but I feel like I have already been there. Heck, the other day I was talking to somebody about it, one of my participants. As you all know, I am a breastfeeding peer counselor for WIC of Louisiana. And I was talking to one of the participants and um, I was telling them about the trip. They were telling me that they had been to a lot of places. I told them that, oh my God, you know, the trip was amazing. And, you know, without even thinking about it. And I don't know why I said that. And I literally said that I was like, oh my God, the trip was amazing. Like I had already been there. And I feel like that. I feel like I have already been there. I feel like the trip between me and my daughter, like, cause both of, both of us are going, I feel like we had an amazing time in Hawaii and it was, it was everything that I had wished for it. And it was beyond amazing. We had an amazing trip, me and my daughter. I feel like that. And I don't, I don't know why, but it's, that's the magical sense of manifestation and pulling your dreams into your reality. It's just amazing it, how it makes you feel. So you got to keep that feeling. You got to keep feeling like, even if you don't believe right off, because you only need the, the, the faith of a mustard seed. That's what the Bible says, you know. I'm not Christian, but I, you know, I do believe in God. I do believe in a higher source. I believe in a higher power and whatever religion you are, I respect all religions. I think they all have something to offer to the world. Whatever religion you are, all you have to do is have a small amount of faith. You don't have to have a lot of faith to make this thing happen. You just got to believe a little bit and it will happen. I only believed a little bit in the beginning. I didn't have a lot of faith at first. Heck, I didn't even think about I could go this year, but I kept believing. I kept saying that it was in my reality and it became my reality. And I'm so excited. I'm so happy for myself. I'm so happy for my daughter because she gets to experience, experience it with me. She's three years old and, you know, I maybe she won't remember it at the time, but I'll have pictures where she can look back on it. She'd be like, oh my God, I went to Hawaii when I was a kid. And oh my God, I went to the Honolulu Zoo. Mom, thanks so much for taking pictures of this. This is amazing. And then maybe we can, hopefully when she gets older, we can go back and, or we can live in Hawaii. That's another thing that's coming up. Anyway, I want you to also make sure that you do pre-order my book, Beautiful Light Energy. I will be releasing it around the time that I'm going to Hawaii in September for my birthday. I, I will be doing a relaunch, you know, like a, not a party, but a relaunch of my book. And I'm so excited for that. And I also, I'm relaunching everything, uh, the course as well. So I'll be adding a new bonus session, live session to my course around that time and I'll be doing it in Hawaii and I'm so excited about that. Check out my course down below in the description box. You can go to my website and uh, check out my course, Beautiful Light Energy course. And you can also check out, you can also find some information down below on how to pre-order my book on Amazon, the Beautiful Light Energy book. And also you don't have to buy the book and the course if you don't want to. The book st can stand alone by itself as well as the course can stand alone by itself. But I highly recommend that you buy both of them because I feel like you get an extra source of inner work healing and, you know, affirmations to help you on your guide, you know, to help you, to help guide you on your transformation journey and your healing journey as well. So if you want an extra dosage of that all together, I highly recommend that you get both, but you can also, you can get one if you want to, you, you can get the course if you just want to, or you can get the book if you just want to, but either way, both options are the bundle together is great as well. So excited for everyone. I hope this helps someone. I hope that I got through it to at least one person. I hope this helps somebody manifest their dream vacation and make their dreams come true because they can come true. I am living proof of it. I am a single mother and I am doing it. As I say, I am fulfilling all of my dreams. So if I can do this as a single mother, I can make dreams come true for me and my child, my daughter. So can you, what's different? What makes me different than you? 
let me be the example so you can succeed in life. Use me as an example always. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Thank you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye.